Ever wonder why you feel hungry or crave carbs and sugar? It's all about two key hormones, our leptin and ghrelin. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you how to get rid of cravings for good. Make sure to stay tuned to the end because I am taking you through my top tips and tools so that you could actually burn more fat and lose weight in a sustainable manner. Before we go into that, I want to break down the science on what these two hunger and satiety hormones, the role of them in our body, because it's not just about cut our calories low. I like to explain the science so that you guys understand what is going on with your body so you can implement things in a way to get you lasting results. Let's break down the roles that these two hormones have in our body in terms of hunger and satiety, which is that feeling of fullness. The first one is our ghrelin. And this is our hunger hormone. It's produced by our stomach. It's produced when it is time to eat. So it signals your brain, hey, I'm hungry. Let's time to eat. You start getting those hunger cues and it comes right before the highest before a meal. And after you eat a meal, it actually lowers down. And that's when we have our other hormone leptin pop on. It helps regulate your weight by signaling your body's fullness and suppressing your hunger. So it's like your body saying, hey, we are good, no more food. In a normal world where we're all you know, eating healthy, we have no stress, these two hormones, they really help manage our weight by telling us when we're hungry, telling us when we're full and helping regulate. But here's the catch. For some, these hormones actually are out of sync, leading to endless cravings, especially for carbs and sugar. Things like our diet quality, sleep, stress, having excess of that visceral belly fat, and even physical activity can really affect both our leptin and ghrelin levels, leading to these intense cravings and even that feeling that you're never fully satisfied. And this is a huge one that I see in individuals that have leptin resistance, those overweight individuals that have that excess visceral belly fat. What they realize is that if we have leptin resistance, they may be eating food, but they never get that feeling of fullness, even though their body is producing enough leptin. And that makes them actually end up gaining more weight. The problem is when we have all of these things going out of whack, we have these chronic cravings, we're not sleeping good. We have all these stress. We're not looking at our diet. We have, you know, visceral belly fat going on. What we focus on is cutting our calories more and doing more cardio instead of looking at more of a holistic approach, I would say, looking at inflammation and different ways to regulate your metabolism to lose weight in a sustainable way. Now that you know a little bit of background about what leptin and ghrelin are, the different things that can throw it off, what are some tools that you guys can use so that you can get rid of the cravings, master your metabolism, lose the weight, and get sustainable results? These are actually things that I work with my clients on because I work with individuals all around the world that come to me with thyroid issues, hormone imbalances. They tried every diet out there, yet they are run down, no energy, and can't see the results. My first tip to get rid of cravings and master our metabolism to lose that weight is we want to focus on quality protein throughout our day. So protein has a huge effect on our satiety cues. Having that at each meal helps you feel full, satiated, and in return, help you reach your weight loss goals. You're not going to have a bunch of cravings throughout the day. You're going to feel satisfied and you're going to have more sustained of your blood sugar levels versus just having a meal of just a carbohydrate or a bowl of fruit. When I was 180 pounds, I went to a nutritionist and she told me, if you have a bowl of fruit, you may notice that 30 minutes later, you're back and you're hungry. Or if you just have, you know, a thing of pasta, you know, without the protein, you're very hungry and you have those cravings later. But if you balance that meal and you're getting plenty of a quality protein from lean meats, we got, you know, our grass fed beef, we have salmon, omega threes, we got poultry, um, you got your pasteurized eggs, then you're actually feeling full and satiated for at least the next three to four hours. And that ties you over to your next meal without the cravings. My next tip is going to revolve around sleep. So sleep. When we're not getting enough, you may notice that you wake up the next day and we have more cravings. So we really want to focus on getting better sleep. My biggest tip would be try keeping your meals at least two to three hours away from bed. 
If you're eating a huge meal before you go to bed, you're putting all those carbs, that energy in your body, and you may realize it does affect your sleep quality. I have three more tips for you, and I saved the best for last, but I have to throw it out there because I am so excited for all of you that have been struggling for fat loss for a while. Imagine being 18 pounds lighter in just 12 weeks, having so much energy, the confidence in your clothes, and the joy of a healthier you. This is not a dream. It is a reality. That is exactly why I created my 90 day transformation challenge. If you've been yo-yoing on your weight loss journey, you're not alone. I've been there myself, struggling with diets, feeling restricted and not seeing the results I wanted, but then everything changed. One of my clients 12 weeks ago, she was right where you were now stuck trying keto, low carb, every trendy diet out of the sun and nothing stuck. But in my program, she found, she literally got her results. She's eating more calories daily. She lost 18 pounds, her energy, confidence, gut health, all improved significantly. And she said goodbye to cravings and food fears, all without extremes. And this challenge is different. You get tailored support. I teach you everything to get sustainable habits with your nutrition. And I have a whole empowering community that share the same wins and struggles with. If you're ready to transform your body and get sustainable results, head to the description below, fill out the questionnaire, and I will be in touch with you in the next 24 hours to set up the call to see if we're that perfect fit for my next upcoming 90 day transformation challenge. What are you waiting for? You could be in the exact same spot six months from now or six months closer to reaching your goals. My next tip for you is going to be stress management. As I talked about, we're so focused on the calories in versus calories out. We're not sleeping good. We're putting our body in the state of inflammation. We have thyroid issues going on, but we do not address stress because it is not sexy. No one says, okay, fix your stress and you transform your body. But I have clients transforming their body, healing from severe gut issues going on, all by addressing the stress. Whether it's just getting outside, going for a 20 minute walk, that has a profound effect on really lowering our cortisol levels, or even try out a certain type of meditation. There's tapping. Um, I love the Insight Timer app. These are free also, so you don't have to spend tons of money on additional resources. I know the calm one, once you get in there, they try to trap you into all of these and they only give you one meditation, but I love the insight timer one. And that's a great one to kind of help reduce that stress. My next tip is going to be focus on whole foods. Like I mentioned at the beginning, when we just have a bunch of refined carbohydrates, we're not getting the protein, the fiber in there. It has effect on our body's hunger and satiety cues. So by focusing on at least maybe 80% of our food coming from those whole foods versus our processed in the box, you know, refined sugars, that's going to have a profound effect on getting the fiber into our body that helps stabilize our blood sugar levels, that helps with our gut diversity, lowering our inflammation. And a lot of these minerals in these foods get depleted due to stress. So if we're so focused on a processed diet, we're not going to be getting in all of the nutrition, the B vitamins, our micronutrients to support our body's energy, to support our cells, to feel our best self, to overcome cravings and get our energy. And my next tip for you is going to be move your body, especially my woman over 40. It's not just about extreme cardio. We got to look at our movement throughout the day, getting in some strength training. These simple ways are a great way to increase our body's insulin sensitivity, also to help regulate our hunger and satiety cues to help you lose weight and get it off. Remember, it's not about one extreme to the next. We have to take more of a holistic approach when it comes down to it. If you need help, head to the description below, fill out that questionnaire. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to share it with a friend and subscribe. I'm going to put another video here for you that I want to check out. You are going to love it. And it really does pile on with this in terms of fat loss and getting you those results that you've been looking for.